Hi there, this is Tobias. Hi there, Stratus. I'm doing a new video for Pauper Turbo Axiom. Um, here I got a Gurmic Angler, Geo, some crevice and a little bit of card draw. So I guess I can try to keep this hand. Um, why not? I'm doing a little bit of new stuff on the right side. You should be able to see the deck list. I hope um, that improves. Um, that improves the way you see the video and it makes it easier to build decks because uh, I'm always tweaking my decks a little bit. Okay, here we got a turn one Delver of Secrets, so we might be screwed. Depends whether he has a counter spell or not. He doesn't. That's good for us. Okay, so right. Let's play the Geothermal Crevice here and next turn try to put our own Gurmig Angler on the table. Probably and profitably with haste. Yeah, that should work, right? Okay, I don't know if it will be enough to have a Gurmig Angler with haste here. Brainstorm, alright. Sandstone Needle, that is for sure a good one. So, um, do I mana morphose? Yes, I think I keep my, my land here. Playing the Gitaxian probe, uh, Lotus Petal, I mean, and then mana morphose twice, actually. Red and black. That should work, right? Red and black. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that should all be good here. Play the Dark Ritual. Discard the Dragon Breath. There is the Olamox Crusher. That is good. But for now, let him deal. With the Gurmic Angler. Gurmic Angler with haste isn't so bad. Yeah, he can brainstorm. Maybe he's running Dazes, I don't know. But I don't know if I can raise that um, insectile aberration there, this Delver. We shall see. Attack here. Play Sandstone Needle. Oh, play the Lotus Petal before I can counter it. So I can pump my Gurmic Angler by four there next turn. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty bad. Okay. Now it will be very difficult. I'm finding Duras. So if I play Sandstone Needle now, I will have seven mana next turn. And then I have to pray that I find an untapped land, right? So keep the Duras at least for one turn. And then maybe, but well just maybe, hard cast this Ulamox Crusher. If we get a Swamp or a Lotus Petal next turn, otherwise I guess we are dead. And we might still be dead because he is attacking us for three a turn here. That means three turn clock right now. And I need at least two attacks. Okay, land please. That's an Axiom. Hmm, that's... That's okay, I guess. That's at least Edict Protection. So, we hard cast Ulamox Crusher next turn. Right. Um, my god. That won't be enough. That won't be enough. Still, because he now can delve away his graveyard 
to play his 3-3 flyer, attack for 3, this turn I'm down to 4, sacrifice 2 lands next turn, don't block and attack me for less damage. So I need to put something on the table now to, to add pressure and then again hope for um, hope for for an untapped land next turn. Oh, found the counter spell. Gush, Gush is our friend. That's great because uh, it reduces the permanence in play, and he did not find anything. And I need this Alamax Crusher with haste, so I'm not using the Dragon Breath here. But this all crumbles if I don't find a swamp next turn or a lotus petal. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. So now, please, untapped swamp. Ah, it's a Gormag Angler. So close, people, so close, but no donut for us. Yeah, it would have been enough. Um, would have been enough. Untapped Swamp, 8 mana, attack him, he has to sacrifice. Probably the lands. Yeah, would have been enough, but now it isn't. It's his game, his... Uh, yes. What do I want to board out against him? I guess I don't need Silent Blood or Dark Ritual. I want... Pyroblasts. And a Nihil spell bomb. Yes, he runs some counter spells. Guess I want two Nihil spell bombs more than I want two pyroblasts. Let's try it like this. We need an aggressive start here, but I have beaten uh, this deck before, so maybe I can do it this time. Okay, not the best hand, but probably a keeper. Janus Edict is tough on us, that is for sure. But it's sorcery speed, and that's why it might work. Evolving Wilds, that's slow too. Okay, so here we are going to Metamorphose. into red and black mana still find that untapped swamp now that's interesting so um play the duress first dispel okay discard his counter spell yeah that looks nice and now play that tormenting voice to discard the Dulamox Crusher. Gitaxian Probe. Okay. Four cards in the graveyard. That's not enough yet, but next turn it will be enough to cast the Gurmic Angler. Right, let's do it next turn. And the Gurmic Angler has the sole purpose of edict protection in this matchup, I guess. Here comes the Delver. No, here comes the Brainstorm because it did not find another land. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Tormenting voice. First, let's probe him. Dispel, Brainstorm, Gurmic Anglers. Mental notes. All right, Nihil spell bomb is a good draw here. Um, yes, I am discarding Terramorphic Expanse. And then, and then what? Gitaxian probe, of course. So two anglers, none of which he can play next turn. He can play a Delver. 
He can play Mental Note or Sword Scour. That's okay. We find another Tormenting Voice. Good draw here, but this turn I want the Gurmic Angler, right? Or do I want to discard the Dragon Breath? Now it's got to be discard the Dragon Breath because then next turn I can still... Oh, there is the Exhume. Wow, um, things are happening, people. Things are definitely happening here. Okay, he has to play something next turn. Manamorphos, Duras, Tormenting, yep. Okay, and I am not enchanting the Gurmagangler. Because next turn I'm counting on a hasty Ulamox Crusher here. Yes, play that. Don't even mind if he plays a Swamp now. He can't dispel. Or Mental Note or Salt Scour. Everything okay here. Best card that we can draw here is an untapped land. And if he didn't draw, uh, no, we know that he drew this island, but we didn't don't know if he drew it from the card that he draws at the beginning of his turn or from the mental note. So he could have drawn a bound spell. So we might need that pyroblast. Now he's thinking play the delver or play brainstorm. Okay, that should mean he's dead. Because he needs that black mana source. And I should be right as rain. Yes. Um, didn't have any luck in finding a creature there too. So, unearth Ulamox Crusher. Give him haste. Attack him with all creatures. Always yield to that. And that should be game. I don't think that he can come back from this. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, uh, they usually run only one black mana source in these decks. So, there is an argument for bringing in the Stone Rain. Um, they're so heavily blue. I don't know, I guess I try this. Yes, I never bought it in uh, Land Destruction against them. But here I want to try, um, because I often see them running only one black mana source. Geothermal crevice might, get, might counter my faceless looting. But otherwise, is this a good hand? I guess this is a mulligan. Here we had have at least have Duras. So yes, keep it, but I don't like it. And I don't like that one as well. And that's a bad hand. That just got a little bit better. Swamp. I want to see my graveyard, please. And now stuff gets interesting. He is in counterspell mode. That's all right by me. I could stone rain and might do so next turn, right? Taking apart his hand. Mental note. Oh yeah, okay. Two chain is edict and the gush. He can't cast gush, not even if he plays that one. So it's got to be the chain is edict that gets discarded here. And we play that one. And that one. And then we wait, right? We wait. Can he already 
Okay. Well, I have to stone rain him now, right? Have to discard his edict. And then stone rain him. Keep him off mana. He will get his 5-5 five five Gurmagangler next turn. But it will cost him. He found that counter spell. Interesting. And I have to take it away. Yes. Um, I don't like that. Destroy his dismal backwater. Unfortunately, this time he had a second black mana source. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can keep Chainer's Edict in the graveyard. I don't think it will matter too much. To get his zombie fish and I will trade my... No, I won't trade my zombie fish because it will get edicted. All right. Might have been better off with... Um, the Zagitaxian probe here? I don't know. Faceless looting it is then. Discarding Ulamox Crusher and Lotus Petal. Playing my own Gurmag Angler. So that I next turn can exhume. Has he drawn another counter spell? We don't know. Has he drawn another removal spell? We don't know. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot Gurmag Angler. Can he counter this one? If he can, we are dead. Deprive, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is not enough. I'm taking another hit, at least. So he's got Gush in hand and an unknown. And plays another zombie fish. Okay, we need that Axiom people. But all we get is another swamp. need to play that faceless looting <laughs> my deck sucks <laughs> okay why um, want to know why he written he's written in the chat that my deck sucks okay um, one two three four five six Got to delve them all. There is no answer coming from him. Here comes the gush. And he found another edict. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's fun. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Yeah, he can attack me for 10, so uh, no use continuing here. But thank you for watching. I will be back with more videos soon. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook, 
slash Magic Gathering Strat or on the web, magicgatheringstrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and cardhoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash Magic Gathering Strat.